Hey guys, I, uh, sorry I haven't made any new videos lately, I went on vacation for a week, you know, kind of need a break, I mean, hell, we reviewers, or we internet guys need our, our vacation days too, so, anyway, hey, I'm going to do my, my next, this, this review is going to be episode 25 of Dragon Ball Super, for, for right now, now this, ep we are, if you guys watched last week episode, and, and I know you, and I know you probably did, you know that, hey, that both trunks, Unks and Goten and went on Monaka's delivery truck uh, and fought and he and while he was making his rounds and ended up on a planet a planet Poofer and this planet you know contains a very secret it's be this this secret planet is being attacked by this criminal named Grilled Grilled and Grilled you know, he wants to see something called superhuman water 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 you know and he attacks his old man who's basically like the guardian of this place. Ace and the secret and, and you know Vegeta he has to he Vegeta, Vegeta and Jocko they go after them and and they try to save them. Now, however, this just leads to more problems because uh, somehow this thing in like got inside Vegeta affected him and stole his powers. Ours. Spoiler alert, you know, just in case. Oh, and now and now you guys are up to speed. We, you know, we, we now get to the main episode itself. This this. Now, uh, this superhuman water is also called the common. It was created like a like a century ago. It was supposed to be used as a weapon to, for defense, basically, according to what the old man and Pishido saw said. And it was supposed to use to help people, you know, people. But instead, it turned it turned into a disaster. It became a violent weapon. It gained intelligence, and and basically, it rebelled. Oh, you know. Uh, it became evil, you know, so they kind of locked it away. Hey, I mean, Grill, the person, as I mentioned earlier, Grill, he was a criminal. Oh, Jocko was looking for him, you know. And, you know, oh, apparently he came seeking the water, seeking its help, hoping it would make him stronger, but instead he ended up being used by the water itself. So basically, he, he, he didn't just, basically he just screwed himself and possibly a whole lot, a lot, a whole, a whole bunch of more people, you know, basically. He at least something that should never have been let out. No. Uh, the dangerous side effects of this, uh, of this superhuman water, or the commit, the common, and not only does it take the energy of someone, it also copies their ambition and personalities. We get to see that throughout this episode, you know, of this weapon, because now they're going to have to fight an enemy with the strength and mind of Vegeta, which is not going to be easy. I mean, it can't be grilled, but grilled, you know, uh, was exactly, highly, like, it's not exactly the best, you know, oh, a good villain, you know. You know he, I mean, he's, I like, I like this art, this, even though this is filler for what's going to come next, and I'm not going to spoil that. And this is just, you know, adding to filler, but it's, I like the storyline, you know, a little bit. Hey, I mean, it was kind of, you know, edgy, you know, a little bit, because they're in this tough situation now. They they already they, they, they the kids kind of you know got themselves into something that they didn't see coming, and Vegeta had to come bail them out, out you know. So and Mo, and so does Jocko. So it's basically you know pretty interesting. They're in a tough spot right now. They try to do that best. One of the moments I did like was we got to see Go Tanks. We you also got to note that Dragon Ball Z is well known for not only action action in it in, in this series but also its humor. Like seeing how Go Tanks give him. Him give his you know his moves ridiculous names like super punch super kick you know something like that you know you gotta love Dragon Ball Z because Dragon Ball uh you know they they they're at least honest about what they give you they are honest you know they do their they do their hardest and their best as you know so you can't blame them for trying and you know they're at least honest about how how they do how they do it you know. It's good to see Gotenks, but he's not having much effort against this copy of Vegeta, you know. But we get to see there are certain things, things that are not going the way eh, as it seems. For example, like the copy of Vegeta, you know, it, even though, even though, even though he's just a copy, he's still a part of the, part of the superhuman one, and the super one wants to absorb power and get stronger so he can conquer, you know. But not only did it absorb Vegeta's strength, it also absorbed his. His mind and personality. And we all know how crude and I don't know how strong Vegeta's person uh, personality is very well. It, it it absorbed everything about him. And his strength, his speeches, his motive 
Jin, including his pride. Remember, Vegeta doesn't want to t want to, to take some of his powers. He wants to earn that. That's one of the reasons why, you know, that's one of his main motivations. Also, his main motivation is to be Goku. And one and we and we are and and one of the things and this was like very very obvious. We all and this and I saw this coming. A lot of people saw this coming that Goku was going to be the one, you know, to save the day, come and help bail them out. So, you know, it's definitely interesting, and you know, to seeing seeing how the how it is, you know. This this was a little obvious. I did like the progression, even though it was some. I did, even though there wasn't a lot of action, there were some good moments. You know, we did get to see some action. You know how how the story moved forward past what happened. I mean, you know, the animation though was a little spotty, but you get you get my point. I mean, you know how interesting it is. And so I, overall, I did like it. You know, and especially knowing what's gonna happen that go that fake go that fake Vegeta is gonna fight. Like Goku, you know, seeing how he's gonna fight someone with the strength equal to Vegeta. I mean, I know he can defeat him, you know. He can he can take him on, but how, but but for how long can he keep this up, you know? Oh, and Vegeta, he's not mastered too long because one of the side effects is of of the superhuman water as it takes your strength, you die. So Grill is already dead. Vegeta doesn't have much longer. All right, it it takes five minutes for the effect. Has to happen, even though the episode's a lot longer than that. It's just you know anime stuff, you know, you know time and sequences and and stuff in anime, you know, is radically different from reality. You know, it's just adding to the story. They could have just said ten minutes and stuff like that. Then that would be a little bit believable. But instead, they're making it look like a rush order, saying they have to defeat the guy now. You know, and it's not the only anime that does it. I've seen other anime that explain five minutes. I mean, Dragon Ball Z has done this in the past too. So anyway, I mean, Goku has to defeat fate. You know, to save real Vegeta, uh, you know, uh, uh, I saw that coming, but for how long? Is, uh, and since he has all of Vegeta's powers, that means he, there's a chance he could go Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, hell, even Super Saiyan Blue, if he wanted to. But how will Goku handle him, knowing that Goku's key, is, his energy is still out of whack after what he did when he mixed Super Saiyan Blue with Ka Kaioken? And so he's right now in a tough spot. Uh, so... But Goku, he's not gonna go down that easily. So, but neither is fake Vegeta. So it's gonna be an interesting fight. See how they handle each other. Anyway, but I also probably note that Vegeta, even though, oh, you know, he knows, even though he, can, even though he can't do nothing about it, there's a part of him that probably doesn't like this. Knowing, even though, oh, you know, even though it is a version of him that is fighting Goku, it's not the real him. So that's gonna, that's like kind of a shot at his pride. And Vegeta, he's loving it because he copied Vegeta's personality perfectly. Hell, he even rebelled against Fake Grill, you know, knocked him out of the way, saying that pest is taken care of, uh, just so he could have his fight with Goku. Sorry for all the spoilers, but you know. Anyway, the story was overall, I liked it. You know, the animation, you know, spotty a little bit, but I like it. You know, definitely very good. I can't wait to see what happens next. I hope it's an interesting fight. You know. Anyway, that's all I gotta say. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. Thank you. Give me your opinion. What did you think of the episode overall? What did you think of the video overall? What did you think of me overall? Anyway, that's all I gotta say. Hey, I'm out. Peace out. This is Solomon Adams. Give me my review. And see you next time. Out.